In this video, we are going to talk about 10 technologies that will change the world in the next 10 years. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. The rate of development advances exponentially, not linearly, with computer capability, therefore the following decade should be significantly more technologically advanced than the last. Although disruptive technology is inherently unpredictable, it is nevertheless feasible to discover signs in the work being done by R&D facilities around the world. Dave Evans, Cisco's chief futurist and technologist for the Cisco Internet Business Solutions Group, does just that, IBSG. Evans discussed the top 10 themes he believes will impact the world in 10 years at Cisco Live. Here are the 10 technologies that will change the world in the next 10 years. So, let's start. Number 10. The Internet of Things We've crossed the point where more goods than people are online. With IPv6, connectivity appears to be boundless. Cisco IBSG expects 50 billion internet-connected items by 2020, or more than 6 gadgets per person. Many of us in the developed world already have 3 or more internet-connected gadgets, PCs, smartphones, tablets, TVs, etc. In the future, low-power sensors will be used to collect, transmit, analyze, and distribute data on a huge scale. Sensors based on protocols like Zigbee, 6 Low WPAN, and Z-Wave are now being used in unexpected ways. Zigbee is in smart appliances and meters. Vince Cerf's wine cellar climate monitoring system uses 6 Low WPAN via IPv6. Verizon's smart home automation solution uses Z-Wave but new inventive uses are arising. Sparked, a Dutch firm, implants sensors in cows' ears to track their health and location. Sensors are in shoes, pharmaceuticals, and medical exploratory surgical instruments. Number 9. Quantum computing. Quantum computing uses collective quantum state features like superposition and entanglement to execute computations. It solves problems faster and more precisely than modern supercomputers. However, we can expect quantum computers to form the backbone for the upcoming technologies outlined above. IBM has announced plans to build a 1,000-qubit version by 2023, a milestone physicist Jay Gambetta called an inflection point. This technique could help manage large data. Rapid simulations could reduce costly and complex development time and address multivariable optimization problems. Finally, it may help solve intractable issues like natural language processing. Quantum computing also shows the dangers of tunnel vision in leaders. Focusing on one new technology or future model risks your company's survival. It's not about which technology will win, but about how they can function together. Number 8. Another family tree. There will be more virtual humans, both physical, robots, and online. Evans believes animated characters already recognize voice, convert text to speech, and remember previous encounters. By 2020, robots will outperform humans. IBM's Blue Brain Project, for example, is a 10-year effort to build a human brain from scratch. They expect to see consciousness develop within a decade, Evans says. By 2025, robots will outnumber humans in the developed countries. By 2032, robots will be smarter than humans. By 2035, robots may replace humans entirely. Beyond that, complex avatars will be created. As an example, Evans cites IBM's Watson. Watson could answer a question with a single, accurate answer. A virtual machine can replace a WebMD search. Or use virtual machines to help patients. Between now and then, augmented reality and gesture-based computing will change our classrooms, hospitals, and communications. Number 7. T. Earl Grey. Hot. More products will go virtual. We now prefer ebooks and movies to hardcover books and DVDs. 3D printing technology will allow us to make anything from food to bicycles in seconds. This reminds me of the Star Trek replicator concept. 3D printing is the technique of connecting materials to produce items using 3D model data, Evans explains. 
Toys, cars, and even living buildings are already being printed, and because the process involves layering materials, they are printed completely constructed and decorated. The 3D printed bicycle shown with this story is an actual working bicycle. Number 6. The Power of the Power. Evans forecasts that over the next two decades, a metropolis of one million people will be developed every month. Solar energy is one of the most efficient ways to power those cities. Solar alone can meet our energy needs. To meet today's worldwide energy demand, 25 solar super sites, each 36 square miles, may be built. Consider the annual loss of 170,000 square kilometers of forest, Evans argues. A three-year solar farm might be built. Technologies to make this more cost-effective are coming. Number 5. The world gets smaller. With constant communication, social media can reshape civilizations, as shown in the Egyptian revolution that sparked the Arab Spring. Cultures will continue to exchange social influences. A smaller planet means more information faster. This was before the USGS issued an official tsunami warning for Alaska, Washington, Oregon, and California. Events are being captured, disseminated, and consumed in real time. This will accelerate cross-cultural influence. Number 4. The Next Net. Evans uses his own home as an example of rapid network expansion. 70,000 times since 1990, when he had only one Telnet connection. Evans now has 38 always-on connections and over 50 megabits per second of bandwidth, enough for telepresence, movie streaming, and online gaming. Evans anticipates his home's speed to triple in the following decade. While most industry attention is on 40G and 100G, new network types are emerging. For an interplanetary network, Vince Cerf presents novel protocols that can transfer data over large distances without lag. Evans mentions laser-based multi-terabit networks. Quantum networking, based on quantum physics, is also being explored. Quantum entanglement occurs when two particles become entangled and can be separated by any distance. When one particle changes, the other changes instantly. Production quantum networks may be decades away. Number 3. Wisdom of the Cloud. Much of the Zetaflood data will be cloud-based. Certainly, the cloud is accessing it more than just private networks. Cisco expects that by 2020, one-third of all data will be cloud-based. Expenditures on innovation and cloud computing could reach $1 trillion by 2014. That'll build the next Google. It already helps us communicate through real-time language translation, boost our knowledge with powerful supercomputers like Wolfram Alpha, and improve our health through computing platforms like IBM's Watson. We can communicate in more depth. Aside from video, the cloud's computing power given to endpoint devices improves our ability to interact. Currently, voice search on Android phones transmits queries to Google's cloud for processing. Communication will become more intelligent, such as contextual and location-based data. For example, if an always-connected gadget detects that a user is sleeping, it can send an incoming call to voicemail. Or that individual is driving at 60 miles per hour and not the time for a video call. Number 2. Not just big data, but a Zetaflood. In 2008, 5 exabytes of new data were produced. 1 billion DVDs. Three years later, we've created 1.2 zettabytes, 1,024 exabytes. This is the same as everyone on Earth tweeting for an hour of your favorite TV show, Evans explains. Much of the rise is due to our love of HD video. On the internet in 2015, Cisco predicts 91% video. To avoid losing the ball, or the packets, of our beloved video, much of Cisco's development focus, and marketing, teaches that considerably stronger networks will be required. Number 1. Humans or Borg. According to Stephen Hawking, humans are entering a stage of self-designed evolution. Taking the medical technology concept a step further, healthy individuals will be given the ability to enhance themselves. The following are some instances provided by Evans. July 2009 Spanish researchers discover substance for photographic memory. 
October 2009 Italian and Swedish scientists developed the first artificial hand with feeling. March 2010 Retina implants restore vision to blind patients. June 2011 Texas Heart Institute develops a spinning heart with no pulse, no clogs, and no breakdowns. While the early use of these technologies will be to repair unhealthy tissue or fix the consequences of brain injury, eventually designer enhancements will be available to all. Humans will eventually employ so much technology to repair, restore, or augment our bodies that we will become the Borg. Ray Kurzweil, a futurist, is pioneering this idea with a concept he calls a singularity, the point at which man and machine combine and form a new species. This, according to Kurzweil, will occur by 2054. Evans is skeptical about the singularity, especially given Kurzweil's time frame. Evans, a member of Singularity University in Mountain View, believes we are on the right track. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification before you go. Thanks for watching.